Afternoon, boss. Oh, hey, mate. How are you? Shut up. Here's the situation. I've saved up all my money for the last six months. I haven't eaten, I haven't paid tax, and I haven't been to the pokies to have a slap not once. Wow! Good for you, Dennis. That's not like you. I've done all this and made all these sacrifices for the last six months so that I could come here to the Horse's Tail pub and I would like one pint of Carlton Draft, please. Wow, mate, yeah, geez, congrats. You've, uh, you've made it. You're our first customer in, well, in weeks. So uh, let, me, let me get that for you. Mate, I am so bloody excited for this. I cannot tell you how sick of drinking warm cans of off-brand premix King Wodonga f beers I am. I just... You know, I can't do it anymore. Why warm? They're now taxing cold beers, so you have to pay extra money if you want to keep your beers in the fridge. Wow, you're going to love an ice cold pint then, aren't you? Um, just real quick, before I go pour it for you, I'm going to need to see some proof of funds uh, because a purchase this big, you know, we need to cover our ass. so... Yep, right. Here is 3500 bucks. Oh. Oh, buddy. What? It's real money this time. No, no, I don't doubt that it is. Um... But the, the, the prices have gone up. What? Since when and how much? Ah, uh, yesterday, mate. They're now uh, $4,000 a pint. What? But this is all I have. Didn't you just listen to that shit about me drinking fucking not going to the pokies and stuff? I'm sorry, mate. I feel you. I, I, I wish I could help. But, you know, my boss said that um, if he catches me even thinking about giving away a free pint, he's going to use me as a human sacrifice for his cult. So, hands are pretty well tied. Oh, Fuck me, I'm gonna have to come back in a few weeks then when I got the money. Oh yeah, no, I actually just got word from the boss about 15 minutes ago that they're uh, due to go up again in five days, so I'd be quick getting that money if you ever want to. I can't make that much that fast. You know what, fuck this. I'm gonna go spend my money on a flight to America and get a $10 beer there. It's be, it'll be cheaper. Oh, didn't you hear? Hear what? Oh, well, the government is making um, flights 10 grand for anyone um, traveling to a different country with the intention of uh, purchasing or consuming alcohol. Oh, well, fuck them. I'll just say I don't drink, mate. You're, uh, you're wearing an Australian flag singlet. I'm pretty sure you're the first person they're gonna suspect. Well, nah, I'm a great liar, mate. I'm always lying to my wife, telling her that it's only straight porn that I'm fucking strangling it to. Well, in any case, um, you can't lie, mate. It's a foolproof system because uh, they send an agent with you when you go on your trip and they follow you around everywhere and um, everyone who says that doesn't drink, they, they get an agent go with them and he follows you around everywhere and I mean, if you even think about alcohol, he'll put you in cuffs, so... They, like, they're in there with, in the shower with you, they sleep with you, all sorts of shit. And I learnt the hard way, so I know it's real. Oh, this is fucked. You know what? This corrupt country doesn't care about the little guy. There'd be no roads without people like me, buddy. Where would Kevin Rudd get to if he didn't have any roads built for him to travel around? You do know that Kevin Rudd was the Prime Minister 17 years ago. Yeah? Course? Bloody hell, I knew that. Okay. Is there nothing you can do for me, mate? Uh, look, mate, the best I can do for you is you give me the 3500 and I will pour you half a pint. Oh, okay, fuck it, fine, give me that. Okay, here you go, mate, half a pint for 3500 bucks. I will warn you, the best I can do is hot. What the fuck has happened to this country? Give him my, give him my...